Brooklyn Nine-Nine is possibly one of the best comedies to come out of America in recent years. And like every good TV show, it has its opening sequence. But where do the images come from for the opening sequence? Let's find out. G'day, hello, and welcome back to Chuck Chases of Facts, where we look at strange things on the internet and YouTube. Thank you for joining me. As I always say, it is very, very much appreciated. Something a little bit different this week, uh, a look at the opening sequence of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Brooklyn Nine-Nine is a police procedural comedy. It was first brought to us uh, by Fox for the first five seasons, um, which then dumped it. But the very next day, it was picked up by NBC and ran for a further three seasons, giving it a total of eight seasons and 153 episodes. Other police procedural shows include uh, Dragnet, Kojak, Hill Street Blues, Cagney and Lacey, Miami Vice, the Law and Order franchise, and the CSI franchise, just to name but a few. The show was created by Dan Gore and Michael Schur, and is based around the hilarious antics of the main nine detectives of the show in a fictitious precinct called the 99th. As I mentioned in the introduction there, it has its opening sequence. But where did all those images come from to create that sequence? We should look at each image and show you the clip of where that image came from. But to get us started, here is the opening sequence from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Brooklyn Nine-Nine was first aired on September 17, 2013, and was last aired, and funny enough, September 16 of 2021. During that time, the opening sequence did not change from episode two, season one, right up until season six, episode four. Then, season six, episode five, this happened. Yes, finally Hitchcock and Scully were added to the opening credits, uh, although they have appeared in virtually every single episode. So let's start off with the first character, Jake Peralta, played by Andy Samberg. The image comes from the very first episode after Raymond Holt has arrived at the precinct as the new captain and he asks Terry Jeffords to describe his detectives. Tell me about Peralta. Jacob Peralta is my best detective. He likes putting away bad guys and he loves solving puzzles. The only puzzle he hasn't solved 
is how to grow up. The next character is Rosa Diaz, played by Stephanie Beatrice. This also comes from uh, Terry explaining to Captain Holt about his detectives. Now the good ones. Rosa Diaz, tough, smart, hard to read, and really scary. <laughs> Tell me who has me for Secret Santa. Oh, that takes all the fun out of it. It's Scully. He got you a scarf. I'll make him return it. Yes, you will. The next character is Sergeant Terry Jeffords, played by the hilarious Terry Crews. This sequence was taken from uh, season one, episode two, where Terry calls his wife to explain that a large penis was drawn on the side of his minivan. Baby, I've got some bad news. Someone painted a giant penis on our minivan. No, you cannot have an SUV now. Those things roll, baby. They roll. Next up is Amy Santiago, played by Melissa Fumero. This again was taken from season one, episode one, where most of the cast were at a murder victim's apartment and she explains the scenario. Shell casings found here, two shots, bang, bang. Great work, detective. The next character is Charles Doyle, played by the very funny Joe Lotruglio. Again, this is from where Terry is explaining to Captain Holt about his detectives. Charles Boyle, he's a grinder. Not the most brilliant detective, but he works harder than anyone else. He's not physically gifted. Oh man, my muffin. Ah! Oh, my head! My muffin in my head, and I stepped on, the, on my muffin in my head and my muffin. Next up is the character Gina Linetti, played by Chelsea Peretti. Unfortunately, her clip in the opening sequence is from a deleted scene, so it is not seen in any episode. The last character in the opening sequence is Captain Raymond Holt, played by Andre Brower. Now, interest, interestingly enough, this clip comes from season one, episode seven. So it appears that they had filmed many, many episodes until they got the actual opening sequence together. Here's how that sequence went down. Detective Peralta has made a collar in the jewelry store heist. Way to go, Jakey. That's okay. No, he didn't get sufficient evidence to make it stick. So we have the next 48 hours to fix his mistake. If we don't find something conclusive, it jeopardizes the case and opens the department up to a lawsuit. So cancel your plans. We're here until this is- As I mentioned, season six, episode five, saw the introduction to the opening credits of Hitchcock and Scully. Michael Hitchcock is played by Dirk Blocker and Norm Scully is played by Joel McKinnon Miller. Their addition to the opening sequence in season six, episode five, was after Chelsea Peretti had left the show and her participation in the opening sequence was removed. So that's it. That's the episodes and explanations of how all nine characters uh, got onto the opening sequence of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. A little bit of a different video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, uh, if you can click the thumbs up button, that would be much appreciated. And if it's your first time here, somewhere over here is an icon and that will help you to subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell for notification of further videos. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, please let me know in the comments. Other than that, uh, I'll see you on the next video. G'day.